Hello, it's your boy Red, and you're watching Rum Time TV. Yo, 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 yo. I figured I'd take some of that advice you gave me a little further. I'm building a team. Spread the word. Got Sauce Walker talking about how men need to, how black men need to raise their standards. Don't no woman in this world come to a mother, especially, especially you niggas, especially black folk. Don't no black person come to the next black person, especially if they doing good or looking good, and say, man, you know what? He got a drinking problem. He don't wear cologne. He, but he's handsome in the face. But he don't have a car. He still live with his sister. All of this shit is wrong with him. But I just want to fuck him so bad, I'm going to change his life and I'm going to take him to Jamaica. Black men do that to women every day. She got three kids. She Her ass is fat, but she don't got no car. She live with her cousin, but her cousin going to watch the kids this weekend. And she said she's going to go to Jamaica with me and she got a fat ass. Is that not the truth? Nah, you're right. I'll give you that. So, therefore, men need to step up as men are the requirements of what they allow and what they accept and what is okay. Definitely what you're talking about, and I agree. To definitely hold ourselves accountable. Nobody's perfect, though. We do need to be mindful of the choices we make because when the shoe's on the other foot, we get criticized and we gotta go through this whole roster. Like, is he this tall? We gotta make this much money. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make sure that we qualify just so that we can even get in the guts. When you compare it to niggas, her body banging, shit, fuck it, I'm about to just bust up in that shit. Fucking and busting and shit and not being mindful of the type of woman you chose, bro. Then getting the attitude when you gotta deal with the consequences. That's on you, nigga. You gotta be more mindful of the type of selection you choose. Put them through tests and shit. And she got three kids. No, that's a fucking red flag. Yup. Taking care of shit is not a problem for a man, but it's just like when you looking for somebody to come into your life, make your life easier. You don't wanna be dealing with just anybody. We don't have time for the attitude. A lot of niggas put up with the attitude. That's when you have those toxic ass relationships. Stressing and shit. You losing your fucking hair. You see the gray as you getting in your hair at early ages. The hairline receding and shit. Now, niggas can tell, bro. You put yourself through more hell by dealing with the bullshit versus just being like, okay, you know what? She don't cook. She don't clean. She always arguing. Put me through a whole lot of shit tests just so she can go fuck with another nigga. Who the fuck got time for that shit? We, we need to do better as men, man. How we filter shit. How we filter who we fuck with. We start doing that, the whole game will change. The more that we bypass all the bullshit and just let shit slide, we're only prolonging the drama that comes with it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll let you later.